Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So when we talk about using points to save on your travels and potentially save thousands of dollars on your airfare, I think most people will automatically just think, hmm, what kind of credit card should I get? Or how am I going to earn enough points to redeem for those flights? Or even worse, I don't even fly those airlines. How am I going to rack up the points without flying? Well, did you know there's actually a simpler method of getting points and redeeming for your flight in business class or first class, potentially saving thousands of dollars? That's what we're going to talk about today. As always, if you're new here, my name is Johnny. I talk about how to elevate your travel using points, loyalty programs, and just simple hacks. So if you find this information helpful and useful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Now, the way to get those points without dealing with any of the credit card stuff is actually purchasing directly from the airline or the airline's frequent flyer program. You see, that's a source of their income as well. Now, you don't want to just stop watching this video and go off and purchase whatever points on whatever airlines that you like, because oftentimes they actually sell those points at a very, very expensive rate, and it's usually not a good deal. But however, oftentimes they will have sales going on throughout the year, and you want to take advantage of those sale when it actually makes sense. And this is what we're going to talk about. Exactly how much money are we going to save? Well, you want to wait until the end of the video to find out because we're going to do some example redemptions at the end. This is again, one mile at a time. And uh, I think if you watched my video last time, I talked about this website, please go follow them. The, this is a great source of any information, travel related, points related. So please go follow them on social media. But so Air Canada's Aeroplan points, one of my favorite loyalty program among all the airlines. They're doing a 100% bonus on purchase points and it starts today, April 29th, and it's going to end May 11. So you have about less than two weeks to take advantage of this program. Now, why is it so important that I want to make a video about it? And that's because if you read right here, your rate will actually be only 1.28 cents per mile, which is super good. This is really cheap. Remember, if we are transferring points from your credit card, we often value those points at two cents a piece. And so they're actually selling it less than two cents. This could be potentially a very good deal. Another reason why I like Aeroplan Point is because they have a lot of airline partners, which means that you can have an increased chance of finding availability to the destination that you want, which is very important. Remember, in the points game, the best ability is availability always. Also, they don't charge fuel surcharge from those airline partners. Um, a lot of program will actually offload those fuel surcharge onto the customer who's using points to redeem for seats, but not Air Canada, not Aeroplan. So that's another plus. So just to tell you some use case that I've used uh, Aeroplan points myself last year, I flew from Paris to, uh, I believe, Abu Dhabi on Etihad's first class on their Dreamliner. And I used Aeroplan, Aeroplan points uh, for that flight. And also I flew from uh, Tokyo down to Kuala Lumpur and then transfer my way to Singapore. I believe I also use Aeroplan points for those two flights. And I've made videos about that. So uh, make sure you check the link down below and or I'll put on the YouTube car thing over here on this side and you can click on it if you want to see the flight experience. Don't miss it. Um, anyways, so let's do uh, some uh, example redemption. So I can show you guys exactly how much money you can save on some of these flights. We're going to go through them fairly quickly. So um, you can pause the video or rewatch it or just uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll happy to answer it for you guys. So let's, uh, let's go to Aeroplan Air Canada uh, website and let me log in first. 
All right, so I'm in and already found some redemption ahead of time just to save us time. So uh, I want to go over a few with you guys. Again, if you have any question, please uh, leave a comment down below. So the first thing I want to do is um, let's find a flight to Europe uh, because I know a lot of people like to go to Europe. It's a nice place. So I found uh, so Detroit from Detroit to Frankfurt. OK, uh, on October the first okay all right right over here 70,000 points and so how much is 70,000 points we always do this calculation I'm gonna do it again with you guys here as well 70,000 points for business class by the way so um, first thing we want to do is go to Google flights and actually find the exact same flight so we can get the cash price, so it's Detroit to uh, Frankfurt on October the 1st, right here, done, we got business class selected, and that was on Lufthansa, okay, so Lufthansa right here, this one, that is $3,333, so we'll go to our calculator and uh, remember, we are purchasing these points at 0 0.0128, so 1.28 cents per piece. So, so we want to put that in. Multiply by, remember, it was 70,000 points. So 70,000 points, that's $896. But there's the uh, service charge, the fees, uh, Canadian dollars, $78. That's roughly, I think, $55. So I'm not going to go to Google and just do it for you guys. We're just going to, we're just going to say that it's $55 and you can um, check your rates when you're doing it anyway. So the rates do fluctuate. So plus 55, it's going to be $951 divided by, remember it was 3333 3, 3 for the cash price and you're only paying 28.5 percent of the cash price so and you want to do minus one to get the discount you're actually getting a 71 percent discount i don't know about you but that's a really good really 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 good discount for me um and and plus you're saving like two thousand dollars right so let's do another one okay so we're gonna like i said we're gonna move fairly quickly um so let's go to the next one okay so the next one i got for you guys is um san francisco to taipei so we're going to asia this time now from san francisco to taipei which is actually a very very difficult route to get redemption so that's i always have uh have trouble getting <laughs> getting to getting to taiwan for some reason there's not a lot of availability it's part of the reason is because a lot of people do want to go to taiwan so this is all the way to uh April, April 18, 2025. So next spring, it's good for a spring break trip, I guess. If is that spring break still? I'm not too sure. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. And okay, over here. Uh, so we found this one, San Francisco to Taipei on Eva Air, which is pretty good. I've flown with them once or twice and I, I like them quite a lot. Um, and I'm flying with them later this year from Singapore to Taipei. So make sure you, uh, Follow the channel, subscribe, and uh, so you don't miss that uh, video because I am going to do a, a flight review for that one. So uh, we've got one seat available, 75000 with the fee of 78 Canadian dollars. And we're going to do um, the Google flights. I already found the flight over here. It is this one that departs 1210 and it is $3,517. So again, we're going to go to the calculator and we're gonna do it was 75,000 multiplied by uh, 1.28 cents because that's how much you're purchasing the points so it's $960 plus the fee which again is 55 US dollars so it's $1,015 divided by 35 I forgot the 17 okay so 30 to 5, 17. You're, again, you're paying about like 28%. And if you minus one, 
again, you're getting 71% off and saving about $2,000. This is just great. This is great. <laughs> you guys should totally, totally take advantage of this. I found there's a last one that I want to show you guys, which is cool because let me just show you because we are going to fly from JFK to Frankfurt again. However, it's not going to be a US carrier or going to be a German carrier. It's actually going to be Singapore Airlines because this is one of their fifth freedom flights. And uh, so let me just show you right over here. All right, so we found this one right here, New York to Frankfurt uh, in business class. We have 60,000 points and again, 70 a Canadian dollars for fees. And uh, so if you're not familiar with Fit Freedom Flights, that's basically when an airline it does not belong to the origination country or the destination country. And so sometimes they do these kind of flights, not a lot. They have to get approval from both countries because of uh, competitive agreements. But this is one of the ways if you want to fly a Singapore airline and you're not really going to Singapore, this is a great way to try this airline in business class. So again, we're going to go to uh, Google Flight and we're going to look up the cash price. So JFK to Frankfurt and that was October 17. Okay. So right here, $2,000. Okay. Uh, so right here, uh, 60,000 points again, because we're taking advantage of the sales. Uh, so it's going to be uh, 0 0.0128. It's going to be $768 plus the $55 fee. It comes out to $823 divided by uh, $2,042. So you're paying 40% of the cash price minus the one. And you are actually getting close to a 60% discount saving about a thousand dollars so again what's my take on this obviously i think this is a great deal you guys should totally take advantage of it only if you guys are planning on traveling though i wouldn't suggest uh if you just purchase the point and just kind of bank it there and leave it there because they're often they do expire and you kind of forget about them and then then you're just wasting your money right because it's just sitting there you could probably put it uh, into investment accounts or whatever is not financial advice, obviously, but, um, yeah, so I would definitely take advantage of it. Um, I think I'll purchase some points personally because I do have some trips coming up and I want to plan more trips for next year. Obviously I want to make more videos for you guys, especially travel videos. Um, so wh where should I go? Actually, I mean, why do you guys leave a comment down below? Just give me some ideas, what kind of airlines you want me to try and I'll bring that to the channel for sure. So thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I'll see you guys next time in the next video very soon. Bye.